Hello, my name is Scott Middlebrooks. I work here at ASML in the research department. And for today's whiteboard session, I'll be answering the question, what is pattern defectivity? Uh, quite simply, pattern defectivity are unwanted disturbances, unwanted deformations in the product structure. So here on the board, I've already pre-written uh, a pattern of chips. Now this is what we want to have imaged onto the, the wafer. Now defectivity means something went wrong. So in this case, maybe there's a little etch out of here. Well, we call that mouse bite. Very technical terms that we have here in uh, semiconductor land. Maybe this structure thinned a little bit too much in the middle that would cause it to fail. Maybe this structure bridged to the, the structure next to it. Maybe this structure pulled back. Now maybe there's even something more catastrophic like a piece of metal or a piece of dust fell on this structure. Now these defects are now killing. The size of these chips now are about 10 nanometers. So if there is a defect, the chance that this whole device could fail is, is probable now. Now the first step in mitigating these devices is to measure them. Can we predict that they're going to happen? Now we have a, several tools in our portfolio to measure these defects. And what we want to do is measure as much as we can with as much quality of data as we can. So on this axis we have speed. On this axis we have data quality. Now the first tool that we have is called the yield star. Basically what it does is it measures uh, the fraction of light that we bounce off a target that we've put into this structure. It's not exactly the product structure, it's something that's representative of the product structure. With this yield star, we can collect a lot of data, mountains and mountains of data, very quickly. But the data doesn't necessarily reflect what is on the product. So we have another tool on this axis called the e-beam tool, and that's built by HMI, which we just acquired. Now the e-beam tool can resolve this product structure down to one nanometer, one to two nanometers, but it's slow, so we can make nice pretty pictures but we can't make that many of them because we have to make product. We don't have time to measure everything. So there's a couple things that we can do. One is we can combine both tools. So we can use the yield star to globally think or predict that something's wrong and drive us to an area where we then can use the e-beam to resolve that area to find these defects. Now we can also scale up this e-beam tool with a tool that we're now developing called the multi-beam tool. And it does, as the name suggests, we take the e-beam and we just make a lot more beams at once. So with the goal of imaging more area with less time. Given all these metrology tools, we should be able to uh, measure more area. And if we can measure more area, we can predict where these defects are going to occur. If we can predict them, we can control them and mitigate them. We can drive them away. We can reject these defects. And we can go from pattern defectivity to pattern fidelity. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. And if you'd like to see more of these, uh, please follow us.